You don't need to take permission to grow. It's natural to grow, but to grow. It's not a choice, it's mandatory. But your choice is determined by you. There are two kinds of growth. There is the general one, age. Everybody is aging. Unfortunately, many are celebrating their age than their productivity. I always tell people one of the reasons or one of the things to celebrate at your bad day is a reflection. What have I achieved? What am I shouting about? What am I dancing about? Welcome people of God to today's devotional channel. If you are new here, please we like you to subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. You can also do well to like, share and comment so that others will get to see this video. God bless you. Every living thing is expected to grow. But you have open growth and structured growth. All of us are exposed to open growth, but not all take command of structured growth. Growth is compulsory to all, but you can choose the direction of your growth. And that's where we're heading for tonight. You can choose the direction of your growth. You can take full charge of your life. But the bottom line is everybody is growing. At least we are all growing in age. You don't need to take permission to grow. It's natural to grow. Meant to grow. It's not a choice, it's mandatory. But your choice is determined by you. There are two kinds of growth. There is the general one, age. Everybody is aging. Unfortunately, many are celebrating their age than their productivity. I always tell people one of the reasons or one of the things to celebrate at your bad day is a reflection. What have I achieved? What am I shouting about? What am I dancing about? Don't celebrate empty life. Content of life is what we celebrate. How profitable is your life first of all to yourself and to others? And the second kind of growth is maturity. Maturity. I'm presenting it, teaching tonight, on the account that every one of us graduating, we are changing phase. You are changing level. You are moving from one phase of your life to the other. You have been in the classroom, you are now going to the life room. You are moving from the theoretical learning into practical living, which you have no choice but to embrace. Nobody will be allowed after graduation to remain in the premises here. You have to go out. After wearing your gown tomorrow, you put it off to go and face down. Amen. <laughs> it's exciting to snap photographs with your gown, with all kinds of style. Be sign. Amen. <laughs> Posing with your friends, you can cross your leg, you can bend your head, you can throw your cap on that, I mean, you have graduated. But uh, after all of that, you have to go and face life you will face it well. I didn't hear your amen. You will face it well. That's why we are talking about embracing the demands of growth. If you don't want your life to be maneuvered by circumstances of life, take full charge of it. And that by maturity. Maturity. Maturity is the real definition of 
classification of life. Maturity. Like we all know, somebody can be at 15 and is more mature than another person at 40. Maturity is what defines your classification. This is without prejudice to your academic performance and intellectual exposure. Maturity. We have seen people with first class grade who are living third class life. Vice versa. That is not to talk low of the need for intellectual development. You know, what you know goes to your head. How you embrace it reflects on your life. There are many people whose heads are so full, but their lives are so empty and miserable. Maturity can be defined as exposure, experience, productivity. This is why from the onset of this university, the ultimate vision is to raise revolutionary leaders, responsible leaders. You'll agree with me that one of our core values is responsibility. And so the key to maturity is embracing responsibility. Embracing responsibility, first of all, for your life looking for no one to blame if you don't want to end as lame. Blame and lame are just a word different. For as long as you keep blaming, you will keep laming. Lameness, stagnation, slow motion. The moment you remove someone to blame before you, you can never be caught with limbness.